Another day, another notch. Or, in this case, lack thereof a notch, a more beautiful, presentable notch. I think they're calling it like a teardrop. This is the F9 Pro, and it has a notch on it, reminiscent of the Essential Phone. Maybe even a little prettier than the Essential Phone. That's right, I said pretty. And of course, the whole goal of this is like every other notch to increase the screen to body ratio while maintaining a position for the forward facing camera. I actually, at first glance, I kind of like this implementation. It's reminiscent of, you remember? Uh, the movie Never Ending Story, The Princess, she has the crown that kind of comes down in the center. Now this type of notch, I, I think it's the first time I've seen it outside of the Essential Phone. It's gonna start popping up on more devices. I think it's kind of a nice compromise. If we're gonna have a notch, let's make it as small as possible. This is a, a kind of mid-range device. The price is gonna be somewhere around 300 bucks when adjusted for the US dollar. This one is six gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of of storage if I turn the cameras 16 plus 2 megapixels and then 25 megapixels in the front it's a 6.3 inch display LCD display no OLED love at this price point 3500 milliamp hour battery with VOOC fast charge, which they claim can give you like 75% battery life in about half an hour. There's no Snapdragon in here. The processor is from MediaTek, so keep that in mind. This one also happens to be made in India. They've included a case. Ooh, that's a really different color setup there. Whoa, check that out. Whoa, magenta to red. That is different. Fingerprint scanner is where I like it on the back here. The SIM card tray, which I believe is dual. Whoa, okay. Dual SIM and storage, two SIMs and storage all at once. Oh, that's really weird. It's still micro USB. I'm gonna boot this up, I think, this type of layout should be adopted by other manufacturers. Yes, you have to have a forward-facing camera. The motorized stuff is a little iffy. People are wondering if it's gonna be reliable. This might be a kind of compromise where we have a notch, but it's not very big. We have the USB cable. You can see it has the VOOC identifier on there. A headset reminiscent of some other brand of headset. I'm hoping this is a speedy fingerprint scanner. I'll put it in the mid-range for speed. It's not the fastest I've ever tried, but it's quick. It's quick enough, that's for sure. Okay, it has face unlock as well. We can give that a shot. Boom. 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 It's pretty nice. Is it as secure as some of the other face unlock technologies? Probably not. It's just a forward facing camera as opposed to infrared or something like that. This gives us our first glimpse at the display. It is LCD, as I mentioned, very minimal. In fact, if you compare this to like an iPhone 10 or something, this is almost non-existent. Can I get an iPhone 10 in fact? So you tell me which one you would prefer having. The notch on the iPhone has a lot more tech built in and the face unlock should be more secure because of that. It's nice to see something a little bit different, even if it doesn't pack all the identical features of the iPhone notch. Let's launch a video so we can see what happens with the notch. It bites into your display a little bit, kind of elegant actually. And of course, if you pinch out, you get giant bezels, but most people are gonna watch like this. The whole phone actually feels pretty high quality. And at this price point, that's kind of a big difference when compared to something like the Pocophone. The Oppo device here is gonna feel a little bit more elegant. And, and most people, I'd say if they pick them both up, would think this is the more expensive device. But if they know anything about them, they know we got Snapdragon over here, MediaTek over here. You can't really compare one to one. I'm gonna play some music. <laughs> Yeah, I would say the Pocophone has a little more low end, possibly a little more volume, but there seems to be a little more clarity on the F9 Pro. Mid to high sort of thing. How about the camera unit? Of course, 16 megapixel plus two megapixels. So secondary lens there is gonna be used for that bokeh effect. There's some filters and things built into the app as well as a beauty mode. Now the thing is for me, these portrait modes, they're really hit and miss. There's so few of them that I actually like to use or would even consider using. The original, 
actually looks a lot better to me than the portrait version, which just looks softer in general. It's not really something I'm using on most of these phones, so it's, it's really tough to evaluate. I think it's sort of a gimmick on most phones. It's gotta be perfect or near perfect to be usable in my mind. So far, there's just so few phones that can do that. On the front facing side, holy beard man, yes. Holy smokes, all these cameras are getting better. It is so hard for me to just grab one of these now and have it absolutely suck. Like that's not happening anymore. We used to have some real crappy front facing images and rear facing for that matter. Blur, you can't get a good frame. That's not the case anymore. Man, we are seeing some improvements at all aspects. It's a cool device. The story is of course the notch here. I know though, it's gonna be tough to pick this one up because the Pocophone exists with the Snapdragon 845 and you're like, what am I doing? I, mean, I get it, it's a pretty phone, Lou. It's all looking good, I get it, Lou, but I need... I need the guts. Myself, personally, I'm not using the infrared face unlock anyway. I don't need all those sensors up there. I'll take a nice fingerprint on the back. If you're heavy on the face unlock, you're gonna have an alternative point of view. Nonetheless, this is a nice looking form factor, a nice screen to body ratio. And what is this color called? Sunrise Red, ladies and gentlemen. Sunrise Red. That's a fingerprinty sunrise. The whole premium feel, the whole glass phone thing, like, oh, but it feels premium. I don't know, how much value can you put on that? I've been using this polka phone for how long now? It's like, at no point am I like, man, I, I missed the premium feel. Like, that doesn't cross my mind. I'm just like, I'm using it, I'm living. I'm out here living, guys. And in fact, I gripped this one nice. How does it come back to this phone? Follow up on this phone coming up very shortly. All right, don't miss it, subscribe. I got a lot to say.